Hello everyone and welcome to Talking Over Tea. We're on a camping trip right now and we wanted to talk about our writing processes a little bit and just try to give some inspiration for writing and some ideas and some resources. We just wanted to make an inspiring video that would get you in the mood to write or start writing or just be creative. We'll each kind of have our own different things that we'll be talking about but we might do some things together as well. We haven't actually written in a while, so this is kind of a way for us to get inspired to write. And we're looking forward to getting back into writing and just having some fun. So I currently have a story that I have been writing for like five years. And um, I haven't really worked on it much except for in this past year when I've been writing with Amelia. For me, writing is just for fun. I'm never going to show it to anyone and I'm never going to go back and edit it. And don't have any plans for it to be published or anything. So I don't really have much of a process for writing a book. Um, I started with an idea when I was really young and I've just kind of gone with that same idea for a very long time and it has changed a lot and I did try to do like an outline uh, but mostly I just sit down and just start off from where I was and just write for a little bit and then if I don't like that scene then I just go to another scene <laughs> and it's just it's just a way for me to have some fun writing and just to write something that it just comes from my imagination. Creative writing really challenges me to think a bit faster and just I guess to think in general because when I'm writing a story I am very very slow. I'm a very slow thinker and I'm also not very good at speaking so um, writing comes a lot more easily to me even though I'm not the best at writing either but I just find it a lot easier to put my thoughts in writing than it is to talk to people. When you're able to write well you communicate better and communication is one of the main keys in relationships so for me when I um, practice writing I can better connect with my family, with my friends I can get what I'm trying to say across and it sounds right to them too. So for me creative writing is pretty much just a way to practice writing for life but a little bit more fun and it helps me to think about things in a different way. Um, so like I said I just pretty much just sit down and write. Um, I have a document that I write in but I also have a notebook and recently I've just been liking to handwrite. It's been a lot more fun and I don't know, I just like it a lot better. I don't really like to go back and put it in the document, but I usually do. I like to do little drawings when I'm writing or when I can't think of anything. So I just draw like little scenes or my characters or something. And it just makes it a little more fun for me and I like to go back and look at them. And this also helps me practice my handwriting because I don't have very good handwriting. I don't write very much at a time. I usually only write like two or three hundred words in the time it takes for Amelia to write like a thousand. Um, but I'm not really going for the quantity of words here. I'm not really going for quality either. I'm just going for what I can do now. And I have actually seen growth. I used to barely write anything at all every time I sat down to write. And now I write quite a bit and I've been able to think a little bit faster and just come up with some things on the fly. Just put scenes in there that I wasn't even planning to. Um, so it's been a lot of fun writing with Amelia. I mean, we don't talk to each other, but we're just sitting next to each other and it's just kind of nice to have a companion as you write. And yeah, that's kind of my process is just to write. I don't really plan. I really like to make characters and I have way too many that I haven't even used in my book, but it's just a lot of fun to create new people and, um, I just think about backstories and to add little fun details and stuff like that. So I just thought I would start with talking about my writing process before I get into what I'm working on right now. My writing process has definitely looked different. I've only written one full length novel, but I have written a lot of stories. And when I was young, my process was basically just getting an idea, whether that would be like a character or a setting or a, some kind of plot element, 
and then just starting so i learned pretty quickly that what i was doing wasn't very good because i could just never get past three or four chapters i had a lot of stories and would just kind of get ideas and that usually ended up failing so then in 2021 i decided i was going to do nanowrimo and i knew that that was going to take some planning if i was going to actually be able to get that done so i followed several different outlining methods and I, I researched a lot and I did a lot. Um, I have a couple here that I was going to show and I found that though it felt like I did a lot of work, I didn't outline near enough because you know what I thought was getting into details was leaving out a whole lot of things but I think that that is kind of the way that I write. I like to know where I'm going but have a lot of room to change things. Right now I'm basically at a point where I'm just using structures that others have created and plotting that way. NaNoWriMo definitely helped me get in a, a pattern and a routine because that was writing 1,667 words every day and that really helped me force myself to get words down. Now that I've finished my full-length novel, I have moved on from that and right now I am working on a short story which I've barely done anything for. I have not done any, any editing on the first draft of my story and I'm just focusing on a different project which I've kind of had in my mind for a while now but haven't really um, let myself think about too much. So I wanted to show inside my notebook to kind of show my process and the reason that I wanted to do this is because um, that's something that interests me. I don't I don't know if it will to others, but um, when I see other people's processes and ideas and notebooks, it usually helps me kind of get inspired to do my own and I'll get into the notebook now. So this is the notebook I have been using for around a year. So in the front, I keep these cards. If I'm getting stuck on a scene, they help me kind of focus back on what should be in a scene. I also right now have this, this in here. This is something I wanted to talk about. Um, I will have this linked if anyone would like to look at it. It is a um, basically three act story structure that has helped me um, with plotting and I can link that below because it is a free thing that I've printed off several times. So at, at the front I have characters. These were some original brainstorms for my book. Uh, then I listed some things that I like to read in books. And then I just have um, story notes. So now I have questions that I made for my book and also answers. So there's just tons of questions. yeah just a lot of just writing trying to figure things out is what I was doing here and that's kind of where I start um, I just write out any thoughts that I have and it's hard to come back to them and look at them but it helps me at the time then I just have some really bad uh, character sketches and just trying to figure out characters and really uh, understand them and get to know them and figure out all the stuff about them this is just a page I did of characters. Here I took a book and just went through it and wrote out everything that happened to kind of see if it followed a certain plot method. Here I'm writing out um, themes. Here is my new story idea stuff. Um, here I wrote down um, stuff that I wanted to include. Just lots of ideas that felt like what the story would be. And then I wrote down some themes, some goals with the book. Here I did like a character journal entry. So then on the last page, I um, just have something for our blog, actually, for this post that we were doing just because we're camping and I did not bring my blog notebook. Um, so that is everything that is in it. And then in the back here, I kind of made like a pocket that I used for, for the um, novel that I finished. So this was kind of one of the first things I did. I can link this as well. Um, I also just have a lot of other stuff. This was something for blog. This is just figuring out things. So that's just what I keep in the back, all of the loose stuff. So yeah, that is everything in this notebook. But one of the things we also wanted to talk about in this post is the reason why we write, because we thought it would be something good to be thinking about since it's kind of just something we do. I mean, I feel like 
when I was thinking about this, the main reason why is just because I've always done it. I don't remember a time when I haven't been writing some story. I feel like that's not a very good reason, but it is one of the main ones. It's just what I've always done and it would just feel weird not to. I've always liked it because it challenges me to really think about words and um, how I'm using them and how I can use them effectively and um, how I can create these things that I've always liked to read. It really helps me to get out thoughts that I have that otherwise are really hard for me to verbalize or think through and writing has been helpful in that way. Um, I kind of wrote a post about why I like to write and why I do it, um, which I can link because I thought through my answers a little better in that. So I think that is everything that I'm going to be talking about for this part of the video. I think we have a few other things planned which I'm excited about because uh, I haven't actually written on this trip yet. So we decided to write a couple poems. Uh, we're not very good at poetry. We haven't really written that much but we thought it would be kind of fun to try to do it so we just took a little bit of time to write down some ideas we took ideas from our surroundings and we didn't really edit them too much these are kind of just like the first drafts i guess but yeah we wanted to read them to you so here they are when mountains look down to see how we fare they look and they loom with an old and kind stare they see broken wings, they hear burdened cries, they felt what you broke, their tears filled the sea. From crooked cracks and thorn-sharp wounds, they felt a thousand trodden steps. They've been chiseled by our piercing cries, but still they watch with loving eyes, keeping whole and holy lives. They watch, they wait, they feel each sting. So before you harbor angry storms, remember that the mountains know. They feel the beauty heartbreak stole. So many pieces we have carved, but still they stay so perfect whole. A chirp awakens the sleeping sun, and he makes his slow way above the hills. A single golden glimmer upon the water gives us a glimpse of what is to come. Not now, but later. For now it's cool and pale and gray. For now it's blank and ready, waiting. Softly, softly, the sun will climb over tree and grass and flower, over rock and branch and bird and bloom. Then it bathes our heads with golden crowns, closed eyes turned towards yellow rays, hands clasped, souls stirring with warmth, with light, with emptiness, with readiness, waiting to be filled. Now the sun is hot and bakes the ground, trickles through trees, shimmers on water, spreads its light in patterns on the floor. The sun and the wind chase and twirl and dance across sparkling waves, through rustling branches, blowing here and there. You can hear their joyous laughter, loud, bright, hot, contagious, and happy, like a fire blazing bright. And now the sun waves a slow goodbye, one last frolic, one last dazzle, before slumber. Pink clouds and blue skies turn swiftly vibrant, red and orange, yellow, pink. Softly, softly, he fades behind the darkened mountains, paler and paler, farewell once more. His friend now reigns, cold and deep and beautiful, a shimmer in the darkness, a sweet, refreshing peace upon the water, a cool drink inside my sun-scorched soul. Softly, softly, you can almost hear his joyous laughter, like a whisper, like a secret, quiet, barely there. 